Hello, Christ is in our midst. I'm Father Kevin Long of St. Elias Antioch and Orthodox Church in Newcastle, Pennsylvania. Today is Sunday, March 13th, 2022, and here are the readings for today. The first reading is from St. Paul's letter to the Hebrews, chapter 11, verses 24 through 26, and verses 32 through 40. Brethren, by faith Moses, when he was grown up, refused to be called the son of Pharaoh's daughter, choosing rather to share ill treatment with the people of God than to enjoy the fleeting pleasures of sin. And what more shall I say? For time will fail me to tell of Gideon, Barak, Samson, Jephthah, of David and Samuel and of all the prophets who through faith conquered kingdoms and forced justice, received promises, stopped the mouths of lions, quenched raging fire, escaped the edge of the sword, won strength out of weakness, became mighty in war, put foreign enemies to flight. Women received their dead by resurrection. Some were tortured, refusing to accept release, that they might rise again to a better life. Others suffered mocking and scourging, even chains and imprisonment. They were stoned and they were sawn in two. They were killed with a sword. They went about in skins of sheep and goats, destitute, afflicted, ill-treated, of whom the world was not worthy, wandering over deserts and mountains and in dens and caves of the earth. And all of these, though well attested by their faith, did not receive what was promised, since God had foreseen something better for us, that apart from us they should not be made perfect. And then finally, today, for our readings, we have the Gospel of St. John, chapter 1, verses 43 through 51. At that time, Jesus decided to go to Galilee, and he found Philip and said to him, Follow me. Now Philip was from Bethsaida, the city of Andrew and Peter. Philip found Nathanael and said to him, We have found him, of whom Moses and the law, and also the prophets, wrote, Jesus of Nazareth, the son of Joseph. Nathanael said to him, Can anything good come out of Nazareth? Philip said to him, Come and see. Jesus saw Nathanael coming to him and said to him, Behold, an Israelite indeed in whom is no guile. Nathanael said to him, How do you know me? Jesus answered him, Before Philip called you, when you were under the fig tree, I saw you. Nathanael answered him, Rabbi, you are the Son of God. You are the King of Israel. Jesus answered him, Because I, saw, I said to you, I saw you under the fig tree, do you believe? You shall see greater things than these. And he said to him, Truly, truly, I say to you, you will see heaven opened, and the angels of God ascending and descending upon the Son of Man. Glory to thee, our God. Glory to thee. And continuing with our readings from the prologue from Ochrid, we have today a hymn of praise entitled The City of Constantinople. Constantinople, wondrous city near the Bosphorus blue, with your glory, whose glory can be measured. You were an awesome battleground of spiritual warriors, blasphemous heretics and saints of God. As through a sieve you sifted throughout the centuries long and declared apostates and servants of God. By many sins you are soiled and by filth of sinners. You are consecrated with the abundance of the blood of martyrs. And who could enumerate the spiritual heroes and all the heavenly visions and your mysteries all? The angels of God often swooped down upon you, and men as angels to heaven were raised. The mother of God many times within you appeared to deliver those in danger, to the sick heal. The flock of wonderful saints over you hover, and the prayers of your children the Most High bear. Oh, how many saints were your children, as many as there are lilies next to lilies and saints next to saints. History and calendar in red, you wrote. By your effort, even the great creed was written. And about you, in such a way, this could be said. Among the many cities, red letter you are. With holy faith, you enlighten the universe. From paganism and heresies, the world you healed. Tortured much, but not slain, you have not yet passed. That is why we all celebrate you, confessor that you are. Throughout the earth and the heavens, your glory echoes. Everyone baptized, a great gratitude owes to you. Today's reflection. Great are those Christians who have a great love for Christ. Oh, in truth, how great were these Christians, those God-bearing fathers and martyrs. For so many in our time, this is impossible even to imagine. This is what one of them, St. Simeon the New Theologian, confessed before all the monks of his monastery, speaking from his own personal experience about the words of the Lord, for my yoke is easy and my burden is light, were realized in him. Simeon said, Believe me, when I fled to God, my Savior, I did not encounter anything sorrowful, difficult, or unbearable. 
The only great and unbearable sorrow I had was that I could not find enough satisfactory reasons to die for the sake of the love of Christ. Are not such souls as a burning flame enclosed in the east earthen vessels? Burning flames are always upright, directed towards heaven. Only remove the covering and the flame will shoot upward. And for today's contemplation, to contemplate the Lord Jesus at the judgment before Herod. First, how Herod at first was very kind because he saw Jesus not out of any spiritual need, but out of curiosity. Second, how he had hoped to see a miracle from Jesus, but he was fooled for the Lord remained silent to all of his questions. And finally, how Herod ridiculed the Lord and how he clothed him in a white garment. And may our Lord, our God, bless and keep you and those that you love today and always. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit, one God. Amen. I pray that you have a great day. And God willing, we'll see you tomorrow.